everybody, Joshua with TBC. Uh, I've made some uh, videos before about crank and no start with your engine. And uh, so the reason I wanted to make this video is as another diagnostic, something that you can look at if you're running into that problem. So me particularly, it's happened once or twice and this has happened in the past and that's how I know where to look. Uh, but when you go to start your truck and you get a check engine light and it'll just crank and won't fire. Um, so a good place to start looking, obviously you're going to check your fuel systems, but if you're getting a check engine light, whenever you have a crank no start, you have two timing sensors. You have one right here behind the air compressor on a 12.7 Detroit and a 14 liter as well. It's back right here, right behind the air compressor. And then your second one, your most important one, is down here, just under your air compressor on the front casing. So here's the wiring harness, and it sits right here. And as you know, Detroit's are notorious for leaking oil. And so if you can see inside this plug, there's a tiny bit of oil inside those prongs. And that's just because as it leaks, it's gonna run down the wires and it will interrupt the signal to the ECM. If it's real bad, it'll completely interrupt it. If it's just like this, the tiny bit, every once in a while, it was giving me problems. So having some good specific electronic cleaner is what you wanna use. You don't wanna use brake cleaner or anything like that because it'll wear out or it'll dry out the plastic and the rubber. And so taking it and getting it as clean as you as clean as you can deep down in there. <laughs> and then do your best to be able to get in the sensor too. You gotta go under the frame rail depending on how it's set up. And to make sure you give it a second to dry out. This stuff's quick drying, but it does take a few, a little bit. And then you can plug it back in. So an obvious clear indicator is if, like you saw, this connector had oil on it, or oil residue on it. So there's a quick diagnostics if you're running into a crank no start with a check engine light. Check these connections. Make sure that they're good. Make sure that your sensors are good. There's one bolt that holds them into the front casing and into the block. You pull that one bolt and you gotta pry them out with a small pry bar, but you can pull them out and you can check them. Make sure there's no metal on the end of them and make sure they're not chipped or broken. If they are, replace them. So what would you say the all the areas, give me three to five places, if it's crank, no start, where would you check? Just to summarize everything. Yeah, so this one's specific. If you have a check engine light, crank no start, this is your first step. You want to check your timing sensors. Um, and then obviously, you're going to work your way back from it. You're going to check your ECM connections, make sure those are good. Uh, and then obviously, if you, if you have a crank no start, always start with your fuel system. Make sure that your fuel filters are clean, you have fuel in the system. Um, as I've made videos before, there's a ball check valve in this side of the filter that stop, stops fuel from back flowing into your tanks. Um, and there's also a check valve back here on the back of your head that stops fuel from flowing out of the head when you go to start the motor so it has fuel for the injectors to pressurize. So checking those two things is going to be uh, your initials, your initial diagnostics, making sure you got fuel. But if, like I said, if you have a check engine light, start with your timing sensors. So, hope that helps. And uh, if you guys got any questions or requests for any other videos, uh, reach out to us and uh, we'd, be we'd love to help you. So, stay tuned for the next one. See you on down the road.